What is going on today, guys? Coming back at you with another Licks to Stay Limber. Uh, this time we're going to take a comparison look uh, at alternate picking versus economy picking. So the lick I'm going to show you today, I actually can pick it either way. Um, I would suggest you do the same for practice purposes. Uh, give it a try and see what you think. Today's lick is based on a uh, E flat minor progression. It's pretty straightforward, but uh, here, just, I'll just play it. I'll stop talking because I talk too much and I ramble all the time. <laughs> That was alternate pick, which obviously is down, up, down, up for the entire progression. Now, compare that to the economy picked version, which would be this. And the economy picking, if you don't know, it's, it's economy of motion. It's using less hand movement to get the same result. So in this case, I'm focusing on pick, keeping the pick between the two strings, the A and the D string, as opposed to being on the outside of it and, and alternate picking you know, more motion this way. It's kind of like in between. I, I created this lick a long time ago, years ago, to get myself in the habit of practicing, you know, with my ring finger, my pinky finger to kind of strengthen them up. Um, because I needed that, I needed to do that in the beginning. And if you're a newer guitar player, you know, you might not be very comfortable using your pinky or your ring finger that often, but you really should get in the habit of it because it's just one more tool in your toolbox when you're, you know, when you need to do a big stretch or it just requires you to hit some, hit a note with a pinky. You know, you've got that in your tool belt to kind of hit it. All right, guys. So now I'm going to break it down like a fraction for you, um, nice and slow, so that we don't get left behind. No, no, no guitarist left behind. That ought to be a policy, right? Okay, we're starting off on the 6th fret on the A string, which would be uh, e, e flat, I believe. D sharp, E flat, what's the difference? I don't know. 6th fret, 1st string. Again, we're just using these three fingers here. We're not using the old bird, just the other three. Um, we're going to go through it nice and slow. I'm not going to bother naming every single note but we do have to pay attention to which string we're on because we're using, again, we're using the A and the D strings uh, primarily for this entire passage. So here we go, nice and slow. That's basically the entire exercise, only I do it four times in a row and then I finish off with a couple extra notes. Now the I keep wanting to say hybrid picking. The economy picked version is a little different. Again, you're staying inside the two strings as opposed to outside picking it. So here we go with that version. It just frees you up when you have the ability to, to you know, either alternate pick or economy pick, depending on whatever the phrase is you're trying to get. If you're really new to guitar, and you're down picking everything, that's great for the chugs and the Metallica stuff, you know, and it's very useful there. But if you want to free yourself up, get a little more fluid with the guitar overall in the neck and be able to move on different strings all around, you have to have these things in your tool belt. You got to be able to, you know, pull it out when you need it to get, to get the right note, to get the, the right phrase, whatever you're looking to hit. Make up your own lick, you know, whatever it is, just moving around strings in unfamiliar ways. Get yourself out of the habit of just using that pentatonic box all the time or just using the three notes per scale up and down a scale all the time. That stuff is great, but again, you want to have the fluidity, the ability to just hit any note, whatever you, you know, whatever your mind can think of as far as a melody, a lead or what have you. You want to be able to just get around nice and comfortable uh, without having to stress over it. So it's a tongue twister for your fingers, if that makes sense. Uh, when I first wrote it, it probably took me an hour or two just to get the memorize the you know what finger has to go on what string where, just to get that down. So play it back slow or you know re rewind the the video. What do they say rewind? No, they don't say that anymore. Go back in the video, replay it slow, and just watch what notes I'm hitting here, and just you know do your best to to get the melody down, 
and then concentrate on the down, up, down, up. It's easier for me to alternate pick, so I would say go with that first. Get that down pat because you're going back and forth on the two strings. Then try the economy picked version after you have that pretty solid. So let's go through it one more time. Let's try to fire it up here. <laughs> note but uh, you get the point so yeah there you go guys that is it licks to stay limber episode four talk to you soon don't forget to subscribe thanks see ya